Hello again. Okay, welcome to week two. I hope you have enjoyed having a beautifully clean top shelf in your pantry because every time I look at the rest of it and I think, oh no, this job is huge and I get all overwhelmed, I look at that top shelf again and I let it take me back to that zen place <laughs> of how it's going to have it feel to have an entirely tidy pantry and so I keep going. <laughs> so this week I'm doing the second shelf and this is your challenge for the week to get started on another shelf to claim. So I'm just doing it sequentially because you know I'm a scientist and so I like things to <laughs> be organized but if you have another shelf that you would like to do first by all means do that. Um, I'm moving into the breakfast foods and frankly this is it. When you are interested in whole foods and eating healthy foods and using you know whole grains as much as possible in your cooking and your eating um, these are the moth bait foods. This is where the pantry moths like to live. There are two different kinds of moths, but basically for the purposes of what we're doing, we're going to just generically call them pantry moths. And they love living in flowers, uh, like meals of, of grains. They like living in the grains, so like your rices, and they love oats. So hence the breakfast section is going to be one of the big risky ones. They also like dried fruits and nuts. I mean, this is all the foods that whole food people promote. Seeds, you name it. So these are the things. And because when you're buying organic, um, it can get you quite pricey. So you don't want to buy, you know, a whole container of organic cashews, for example, and then find them infested and have to throw them away. It's one, not just wasteful and, you know, putting more pressure on our environment to keep producing food that gets wasted. But it's, you know, it's... it's seems sad to be throwing away foods when we're lucky enough to be abundant to have it. So that's why I'm staying steadfast on my mission to clean this pantry. So like last week, what we're doing is we're basically sorting through anything that's out of date, keeping what's in date and what's clearly not infested. Now there are some things which might actually be infested but might not appear to be infested. And so if there are some things that you're on the fence about where you think it looks all right but you're not sure, I found some really cool articles and I'm going to link them in the comments below this video so you can have a read of those when you've got time and they've got some really interesting ideas about what you can do with certain foods that you're uncertain about okay and pick one that works with what you're doing and what you've got um, in your kitchen. The other thing that I'm going to do this week as we move on now to the rest of the pantry next week is anything where I've got like a packet like this with a rubber band about around it. If I've got big enough airtight jars to put it in, that's what I'm going to try and do because um, anything that makes it harder for the moths to get in, I think has, has to be a plus. So, where, and they can pretty much bore through this sort of thing relatively easily. Okay, so let's get to it. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> 